हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज चंद्रशेखर वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू दिस इनक्रेडिबली वंडरफुल संडे का फंडा सीरीज इस सीरीज में आज हम बात करेंगे लॉन स्प्रिंकलर की विच इज यूज्ड फॉर वाटरिंग द ग्रास इन द गार्डन और द लॉन ये जो रोटेटिंग लॉन स्प्रिंकलर है इट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट वाटर टू द एंटायर सॉइल सर्फेस कवरिंग लार्जर एरिया कैसे ये वर्क करता है लेट अस ट्राई टू सी कि देर इज अ पाइपिंग सिस्टम थ्रू विच वाटर फ्लोज ड्यू टू पंप और वो जो पाइप सिस्टम है दैट इज कनेक्टेड विद द वर्टिकल फिक्स्ड आर्म ऑफ द स्प्रिंकलर वाटर उस पाइप से वर्टिकल फिक्स्ड आर्म में एंटर करता है और उसके बाद दैट वर्टिकल आर्म इज अटैच विद ए हॉरिजोंटल आर्म विच इज मूवेबल और इस हॉरिजोंटल आर्म के दोनों तरफ नोजल्स लगे होते हैं वेन वाटर कम्स आउट ऑफ द नोजल देन इट एक्सर्ट द फोर्स ऑन द नोजल नोजल पे फोर्स लगने की वजह से देर इज ए टॉर्क डेवलप और टॉर्क की वजह से इट स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग तो ये रोटेशन की वजह से इट कवर मोर एरिया और द एंटायर एरिया ओवर द सॉइल सर्फेस तो ये अभी बंद कंडीशन में है थोड़ा बहुत पानी आ रहा है बिकॉज ऑफ वाटर ऑलरेडी देयर इन द पाइप सिस्टम लेट अस ट्राई टू सी कि ये कैसे रोटेट करता है वर्किंग कंडीशन में भैया से बोल के इसको वर्किंग कंडीशन में ऑब्जर्व करते हैं ये देखिए ये इस तरह से वर्क करता है नोजल से पानी निकल के नोजल पे फोर्स डेवलप करता है और फोर्स की वजह से टॉर्क डेवलप होता है नोजल पे और उसकी वजह से फिक्स जो हॉरिजोंटल आम है ये रोटेट करने लग जाती है दैट कवर्स द एंटायर एरिया ठीक है चलिए लेट अस ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द मैथमेटिकल आस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस लॉन स्प्रिंकलर हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक सो नाउ लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग ऑफ लॉन स्प्रिंकलर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन टू प्रिंसिपल्स वन इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ मोमेंटम इक्वेशन दैट इज न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ फॉर रोटेशन एंड द अदर वन इज न्यूटन थर्ड लॉ that says for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so first of all try to understand what exactly is moment of momentum that is called as angular momentum denoted by l so l is equal to linear momentum into radial distance mvr per unit time we can write it as m dot into v into r and mass flow rate is density into discharge so l dot can be written as rho into q into v into r that is the angular momentum per second all right so now try to understand what exactly is newton's second law for rotation or moment of momentum equation according to newton's second law for rotation the net resultant torque which is exerted on the fluid is equal to rate of change of angular momentum of the fluid so torque exerted on the fluid torque exerted on the fluid is equal to rate of change of angular momentum final minus initial of the fluid l dot f f for final i for initial f represents the final momentum per second and i represents the initial momentum of the fluid per second that is the torque which is developed or which is exerted on the fluid and according to newton's third law which says every action has equal and opposite reaction to the other body so the reaction of the discharging fluid will develop will generate a torque on the system that is equal in magnitude for the torque exerted on the fluid but it is opposite in direction so if we want to write the torque which is developed on the system due to fluid flow is equal to rate of change of momentum that is initial minus final for the fluid initial minus final 
angular momentum per second. That is the torque which is developed on the system, which is equal in magnitude, but it is opposite in direction. That is why we have mentioned initial minus final. All right. Now, it is the absolute velocity of the fluid. So, we can write it as sigma rho into q into v into r initial minus sigma rho into q into v into r final. That is the torque which is developed on the system. It is always the absolute velocity of the fluid which causes change in angular momentum of the fluid. So, in this given expression, v represents the absolute velocity of the fluid. That is the velocity of the fluid with respect to the ground or stationary frame of reference. So, how exactly the lawn sprinkler works? In the lawn sprinkler, there is a vertical fixed arm through which the fluid enters. The fluid enters into the vertical arm and there is a horizontal arm which is not fixed, which is, which is movable. And at the, at the tip of the horizontal arm, there are nozzle attached. There are nozzle attached like this. So, when the fluid leaves through the nozzle, it will exert a force on the nozzle. Similarly, on the other nozzle also, there is a force exerted. Due to these force exerted on the nozzle and the nozzle is connected to the horizontal arm, so they will develop a torque on the horizontal arm and that is why there is a rotation in the horizontal arm. That is how the rotation of the horizontal arm will take place because of the fluid flow. So, let us understand the analysis of this moment of momentum equation for a lawn sprinkler for the horizontal arm. This is our horizontal uh, arm of the lawn sprinkler. I represents the inlet point. The fluid is our control volume. This is our control volume. And the rotation of the Horizontal arm is taking place in clockwise direction. Let us say that is taken as positive. Clockwise is taken as positive. So, I represent the initial point, inlet point where the fluid enters the control volume. This is 1. Here, the fluid will enter into the control volume at 1.1. 1. 1. And F represents the final or the outlet point, which is 2 and 3 from where the fluid leaves the control volume. The fluid leaves the control volume through point 2 and 3. And R is the radius. This is the axis of rotation. This can be called as axis of rotation. And R is the radial distance from the axis of rotation. R2 is the radius of the nozzle 2 from the axis of rotation. And R3 is the radius of nozzle 3 from the, from the uh, axis of rotation. So, the fluid leaving from the nozzle 2 is coming out with the relative velocity Vr2 that is equal to Q2 by A2. A2 is the area of the nozzle or area of the jet. Similarly, the fluid leaving the nozzle 3 is coming with Vr3 that is Q3 by A3. These are the relative velocity. Vr is the relative velocity of the fluid. What is the relative velocity? Relative velocity of the fluid is the velocity of the fluid with respect to the rotating arm. All right, Vr2 and Vr3. Similarly, because of rotation of the horizontal arm, there is a tangential velocity which is developed at point 2 and point 2. The direction of tangential velocity is u2. For point 2, u2 will be outward and for point 3, u3 is inward. u2 is equal to r2 into omega that is taken as positive and u3 is equal to r3 into omega. r3 into omega. Omega is the angular velocity. So, the direction of u2 and u3 will be positive because omega is positive. Omega r2 is u2, omega r3 is u3. So, because the absolute velocity causes the change in uh, angular momentum of the fluid. So, absolute velocity of the fluid can be written as relative velocity plus the tangential velocity of the rotating arm. That is the concept of relative velocity. So, at point 2, we can find out because they are in the same line. So, we can call it algebraic sum. So, from here, we can write what is the value of R1? 
वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आर वन आर वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी कैन से एल डॉट इनिशियल विच इज सिग्मा इंटू रो इंटू क्यू वन इंटू वी वन इंटू आर वन विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो initial momentum initial angular momentum per second of the fluid will be zero and this is point 2 this is point 3 and we can also say from the if we apply the continuity equation in the control volume so this q1 will be equal to q2 plus q3 isn't it q1 will be equal to q2 plus q3 the discharge entering into the control volume is equal to discharge leaving from the control volume and from the symmetry the discharge will be equally distributed whatever the discharge entering because there is a horizontal arm perpendicular to the vertical arm so that is why the discharge will be equally distributed so we can say q2 is equal to q3 is equal to q1 by 2 each from the symmetry q2 and q3 will be equal to q1 by 2 each so if we write the moment of momentum equation for our control volume so the torque which is developed on the system is equal to l dot i Minus L dot F for the fluid, and initial momentum of the fluid is equal to zero. So the torque developed on the system is equal to zero minus. We can say two is the outlet and three is the outlet. So rho into Q two into V two. What is V two? If we write V two here, V two will be equal to this is U two, this is V R two, and this is U three, this is V R three. so we can say v2 is equal to u2 minus vr2 and the absolute velocity v3 is equal to u3 minus vr3 because u is positive vr is negative so this is how we can find out u2 v2 and v3 so rho q2 into v2 that is u2 minus vr2 into r2 plus rho into q3 into u3 minus vr3 into r3 that is our expression for torque retarding torque which is developed on the rotating system by the fluid flow if we are getting it as positive then the torque developed is clockwise because clockwise is taken as positive and if we are getting the sign as negative then the torque developed is anti clockwise all right so that is how we can write the moment of momentum equation for the lawn sprinkler that is all from my side for the session uh, see you in the next such video till then enjoy take care have a good day guys thank you very much